Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get started, I wanna thank Walmart so much for sponsoring this video. You guys know I worked with Walmart in the past. Oh my God, it smells like pineapples over here. This is the most beautifully aromatic pineapple I've ever sniffed in my life. My aunt sent me some from Hawaii. I definitely have to eat these today. Sorry, I swear I have the attention span of a squirrel. As I was saying, you guys know I've worked with Walmart in the past before and they are incredible because they have such a vast variety of products to choose from. Like I love going into a Walmart, wandering around and I always find something cool that I didn't even know existed, whether it's like a fun food item or a fun house thing or a fun cooking tool, whatever it may be, they have everything. So we'll talk more about them later. I just woke up, I'm gonna be very honest. I am very tired and very puffy today. So I'm doing my ice roll which is what I do on mornings like this and we're gonna go to the gym I'm debating whether or not I want to take some pre-workout or like drink some caffeine before I go But I think we're gonna go on natural just go drinking some water and see how this goes Also tonight we're doing game night with Asian girl squad and boyfriend So I'm gonna cook up a feast. It's gonna be amazing But uh, let me show you guys what I'm wearing to the gym. All right, here's the fit So I'm wearing this cute little sports bra that is like a cornflower blue color. Hi momo <laughs> I love the piping here. I love any sort of active wear with like a little contrasting line. I feel like it emphasizes in the right way and it's cute. I'm also wearing this really cute, nice little thin cropped jacket. Yes, we are in a heat wave in LA, but honestly right now I'm not feeling the most comfortable just working out in just a sports bra all the time. So I love having like a nice little thin jacket that I can throw on top where it's flattering and I feel comfortable, but also I like, I don't get too sweaty. And that's the fit. And I've got my braids and I probably should have braided the bangs back because they're already getting annoying, but it just looks cuter this way. Why do you look like that? You look scared. <laughs> the tail. Hi, BB. Say good morning, vlog. Good morning. Okay. This is what I'm supposed to look like. Here's a demo. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna break a veneer. Thank you. All right. So that's it. Oh wait. See? Is that good? That's it. Crushing. Oh god. Switch. Oh god. right now I've never seen what the back of my head looks like when I braid my hair down the middle and I will have to move that extension That was a great workout, and also it is burning up, burning up outside, 93 degrees, and it's only 11 a.m. Gonna chug my water. Let's go home and shower. I'm home, and I am ravenous, and I'm making myself one of my, well, not making, heating up myself, one of my favorite breakfasts that I've prepped already. I forget exactly what I call them, but they're like a breakfast muffin. These are chicken apple sausage ones, but they are so delicious, and I prepped them. The recipe's on cookingwithremy.com. You can either make them in the air fryer or bake them in the oven. I made a bunch, so I baked them in the oven, but I'm just reheating them throughout the week, and they are to die for. And on the inside, there is a jammy egg. So good. Breakfast was fantastic. Truly one of my favorite, easiest breakfasts to make. Also, all my Walmart groceries are here and I just laid them out on the counter. They look stunning and I want to show you everything. <laughs> look how beautiful this looks. There we go. So a few things I wanna talk about. Obviously, as we know, groceries have been insanely expensive lately, and especially as a food content creator who's always buying groceries, always buying things, I love going to a place like Walmart to grab a bunch of my ingredients and things because it saves me so much money, but the quality is still so great. And as I said earlier, they have such a wide variety of products for literally anything that you could need from food things to home things to hygiene products, whatever it may be, they have you covered. And also, as you guys know, they have a delivery service, or if you go to the store, you can actually go park like right in front in like the front parking spots, call them and then they will come and put the groceries into your car. It saves so much time if you're someone who doesn't like shopping at the grocery store or if you just simply don't have the time to do so. It's an amazing thing to try out. So let me show you guys all the stuff I picked up. I got a lot of stuff just for like my weekly grocery trip. And then also, as I said, we're doing a game night tonight and I'm making all the girls favorite food that I make, which they're gonna love so much. So let me show you guys the big array. All right, first up, we got bacon. I love the Great Value Bacon. It's honestly 
so delicious for like a fun little weekend brunch moment. I also love their shredded cheeses. If you can see, they're kind of like a thicker shred, so I feel like it just gets nice and melty. And I got some mild cheddar. These little mini guacamole cups are perfect for snacks or for on the go. Got some grass-fed ground beef. I love to have ground beef on hand to make burgers or lasagna or whatever, but I love ground beef, honestly. It's like one of my favorite meats to have. Also got Parmesan. I got two bags of Parmesan, actually, for dinner tonight and also just to have on hand. Of course, gotta slap the groceries. We've got basil. I've got blueberries here, which look how big these delicious blueberries are. Got more bacon, got a bunch of shallots for cooking for tonight and then also just in general. Shallots are great because they stay so long in your pantry and I love to have them on hand for my green goddess dressing. I just made a green goddess a couple days ago, but I didn't have a shallot. I used a red onion and it was honestly a little bit too spicy. So I love a shallot because it's a little more mild. Sour cream, we always have sour cream on hand for dips and just to have. I needed to restock the medicine cabinet, so I just got some pain reliever. I've got here, you guys know I love gluten-free bread and I wanted to try this new one that I've never tried yet. It's a gluten-free multi-grain bread, so excited to try that. I'd love to get my frozen fruit from Walmart. Truly, they have so many options and it's really inexpensive, which is great and such good quality. So we've got mango chunks, which I like to put in either smoothies or eat on their own. Blueberries, berry medley. You can mix this with milk and make it like a really yummy dessert. It's so good. Pepperoni cauliflower crust pizza. I like a cauliflower crust pizza more than I like a regular pizza. I'm not even kidding. It's so good. It gets extra crispy. We always need cream cheese on hand, again, for dips and just for like bagels and things. I have been loving my breakfast muffins and I wanted to make more, so I got a bunch of green onions and I've been wanting to chop green onions up and I actually have a dehydrator. I got it like years ago and I've been wanting to dehydrate my own green onions because it's my favorite part of an instant ramen pack. So I wanted to dehydrate my own and look how many you get in this pack, so many. And they're organic, love to see that. Pumpkin spice chocolate almonds. I actually got these for Wit because I'm not a pumpkin spice girl, but I wanted to give her these. We got two packs of the Caesar salad mix. I got these for dinner tonight when everybody comes over. Just a quick, easy salad kit to go with the pasta that I'm making, but it comes with romaine lettuce, garlic croutons, shredded Parmesan cheese, and Caesar dressing. It's just super quick and easy. And when I'm cooking for a large group, I like to do the easiest things possible. Cucumbers. We've got brioche hamburger buns, again, to go with the ground beef over there or just to have to make, you know, little sandwiches or something. Something. Queso Blanco because as you guys know Cal is a huge queso fan and this looks really nice and easy and I'm gonna heat this up tonight serve it with these tortilla chips I love to have frozen shrimp on hand whether I am making like spring rolls or tacos anything It's like my favorite frozen protein to have and I feel like it lasts a long time in the freezer as well Potatoes because I love to make homemade fries or like make some sort of like breakfast scramble uh, going with that again We've got these hash browns with onions and peppers. They're the southern style O'Brien potatoes garlic tomatoes Onion, just things that I always have on hand every week. Fresh spinach. I got some cookies to put into my little cookie case over there because those are very old and I want them to be nice and fresh. Got some salsa also to serve up for tonight. Love my brown eggs. Fun fact, I get my garlic and onion powder always at Walmart because it's really inexpensive and it tastes so good. And I'll just keep extras on hand and then refill my little jars. Got some creamy almond butter, which we always need on hand for smoothies or to make my little stuffed dates. Chicken breast, which I'm gonna use some for tonight and then some just to have in the week to put on salads or tacos or whatever it is that I want to make. Breadcrumbs, also going to use these for tonight. And I think that is the whole haul of everything. All right, guys, that wraps up my grocery haul for tonight. And then for the rest of the week, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Seriously, if you're looking for great quality products at a really great price, check out Walmart. I'll link them down below and I'm going to go shower now. See you soon. Okay guys, just did my hair and makeup and my hair looks the best it has in so long. I love the color so much. I need to go get my roots touched up pretty soon because they've grown out a bit, but it's like a nice soft-ish blend. So cute. And then my outfit, I found this shirt in my closet. Didn't even know I had it, but it's adorable. I'm not quite sure where I got it from. Oh, you know what? I think it's my friend's business state of mind. It's like a little cute tank top with a little rosette and then a little matching cardigan on top. We've got, of course, just my leggings that I wear every day and then my socks that I also wear every day. Love it. I also am very excited because every time Asian Girl Squad comes over, I usually like spend the day lounging and then I'm rushing at the end of the night before they come to like finish cooking and get ready. But now I'm already ready. So I don't even have to worry about getting ready later and I can uh, be fully glam when they come. I usually like am running so late that I don't do my hair or I don't do my makeup. I do like one or the other. But for the first Asian Girl Squad game night, I'm ready. Woo! Hello all, it is much later. I have gotten up to a lot of stuff today. I finished a bunch of work and now it is officially 6.41 p.m. It's been a long time since I saw you. Everybody's coming over tonight at 8 p.m. So I still have about an hour and 20 minutes before everyone comes. Um, oh, also I did these little press on nails. These are the Impress press on manicure. 
how cute do they look? And they literally took me five minutes to do. If you guys have been watching the vlogs for the past month or so, I've been giving my nails a break. And this is the best thing ever. It took no time at all and I love them. And they like are very sturdy. It's amazing. On the dinner menu tonight, we are doing garlic bread, the Caesar salad, the spicy vodka pasta, and then I wanna make like panko breaded chicken breast. I can't decide like a chicken cutlet. I can't decide if I wanna do it fried or air fried. Let me ask Cal. Hey babe, for the chicken tonight, should I do air fried or like deep fried? Should you or could you? I can do either, which do you want? All right, we're gonna fry it and we're gonna begin by making some garlic bread. So let me show you guys how I'm gonna make this. Okay guys, I'm making the garlic bread. I'm honestly kind of just winging this. I know what it looks like, but I am not looking up a recipe and I'm just gonna make this up, so. <laughs> okay, we're looking good, looking good. I'm using a French loaf, and if you guys are also really into food, TikTok, Instagram content, then it's honestly actually probably like a, a viral Pinterest thing, but they would take the bread and then slice it this way and slice it this way, like perpendicular, and then fill the little crevices with like garlic, butter, parsley, seasonings, bake it, and then you can like, and cheese, and you pull it out, and it's like a little individual garlic cheese bread. I'm just gonna attempt to make this right now. Hopefully I don't mess this up, but French loaf, I like a French loaf because it's nice and soft. It should be soft, but still has like a crusty exterior. And you wanna cut down, I don't know why I'm giving you instructions as if I know what I'm doing. Cut down till you're like one third away from the bottom. And I'm gonna make mine like inch pieces. Oh, and also when you're cutting bread, you wanna use a serrated knife, which means it's got these little jagged edges. It makes cutting bread much easier. Okay, now we should have slices going this way. Flip it and cut it perpendicular. All right, then it should look something like this. Tons of little individual pieces, and now we're gonna fill in the gaps with our garlic butter that we're gonna make. So I have here truffle butter, which I'm just gonna dump this. You know what, before I do that, I've got a regular stick of butter. I'm going to melt this down so it's nice and softened. You can also leave it at room temp. I think we're gonna need a lot of butter, so I'm gonna do a whole stick regular butter, this is unsalted, into this bowl and microwave for like 15 seconds. All right, we have our softened butter. I'm gonna add in my truffle butter. This is from Churn. Like four to five tablespoons of the truffle butter I might add in more later. And then, you guys saw I already chopped up the garlic. I have a whole head of garlic chopped here. A good amount, I might just add more in later. That was about three fourths of the head. Fresh parsley, about two to three tablespoons I'd say. And then to keep it simple, just salt. Lots of salt, make sure you salt it well. And black pepper. Okay, then I'm gonna use my hands to get in here because I wanna get into all these crevices. I'm gonna put on some gloves. What time is it, seven? Oh man, I better start working on dinner soon. I'm just gonna mash this all up with my hand until it becomes a nice mixture all together. I think I'm gonna add in the rest of the truffle butter actually. We need a lot of butter for this. Okay, the mixture should look like this when it's all come together. And now, my glove is slipping off, we can go into the crevices and rub the butter in between each layer. Really massage it in. Okay, pause the camera to grab the Parmesan cheese out of the fridge. I also just heated the oven to 350 degrees and I'm just gonna bake it for like 20 minutes and hope for the best. And I got my little baking dish out. I'm going to put my bread into a pie pan because I think it'll fit and it's circular. So now for the cheese, I'm gonna put new gloves on, sprinkle it into these little crevices. There we go. Oh yeah, that one needs more butter. Now I can see a little better. Make a little mound here. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. <laughs> oh, this is messy y'all. Ooh, my microwave keeps hitting me. All right, it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever created, but I can't imagine it'll taste bad, question mark? I mean, it's cheese, bread, and butter, so I think it'll be good. I'm gonna bake this at 350 for 20, maybe hit it with the broiler, and I think it should be good. I am now gonna listen to Twice and make some chicken cutlets.
Our chicken cutlets are cooked and they are so good. I tried a little piece. Look at this breading and the chicken is really moist on the inside. It's so good. I've got the last cutlet going over here. It's almost done. The bread is out. It smells amazing. I should have put a meltier cheese on top. I should have done like mozzarella or something, but it still looks amazing and I'll pop it back in the oven for a few minutes before everyone comes. Cal is prepping the salad kits. I've got a lot of pasta made. Now I'm going to throw together my spicy vodka sauce, which I've made on this channel before. You guys know it's really easy. We got the chips and dips out. Looking good. All right, the chicken's done. I sliced it. I'm keeping it warm with the bread. Everyone's here. Hello. Tiff brought her bingo for game night. And Hello. dinner is served. Hello. Beautiful. Hello. You're so welcome. I hope it's good. Hi, guys. Everybody went home. We had so much fun. We broke into the crumble cookies. The food was a hit. I gave everybody to-go boxes, so we don't have too many leftovers, which is fantastic. Now, I'm just going to do the dishes and finish cleaning and then we're gonna go to bed Woo! it was so much fun we played tapple we played bingo and it is 12 7 a.m. so on that note I'm going to end the vlog hope you guys enjoyed it I love you so much also the chicken cutlets were like a crazy big success everybody was freaking out about them and I told them how simple it was you guys saw you just flour egg breadcrumb delicious we turned the lights on everybody loved we played bingo at the table and then we played tapple over in this front little entrance game room which Cal really wanted to make this a game room so he was excited love you guys see you in the next one. Bye.